Welcome to Space Dogs, the movie. My name is Emerson Maxwell. And I am Norris. And this is our ship, the one which we have conquered and moved about the universe in, continuing to conquer and to seize things which we desire. Isn't that so, Amanda Maxwell? That is indeed so. It is our distinct preference an undisguised motive to conquer over alien beings and ourselves. And we continue once again on another voyage of Space Dogs, the movie. Maxwell, where are we heading right now? We are heading towards the part of the galaxy which offers greatest glory. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, but, but how far is it? Several photons. We have three energy modules total. We've already burned out our first two. We're not even out of the solar system. Maxwell, we need to get some more of these in a hurry. Norris, I believe I have the answer. There is a planet, seven photons from our current position. Seven photons. Seven photons. That's that's near enough for only one more space energy On module. On this planet, there's a life form that is indigenous to the planet and uh, deposits energy parts as waste. We will conquer their people and be king. <laughs> Let us go now, immediately. Let us move at once. Change the diameters. <sighs> Motion has seven its new up. direction. <laughs> Make it so that their distance becomes our quotient. But we, we must, must proceed with now. Caution. We must proceed so that they do not see us, Perhaps but we no see them. So I'll stop just outside of the not, uh, solar system. Allow me not to be no, so impatient sometimes. It's just the concept and the prospect of glory Would and you? conquest is I'm always first and foremost on my mind. I understand, Maxwell. I understand. These things take time. Norris, are we ready to make the change? The change has been assumed. It engaged! We've arrived at our destinations. But how will we subdue the aliens? so that we can fill these with the quintessential energy. We can use these podules. How tall are these aliens? How tall Beat them. Are these? Beat them. Beat the aliens with the podules. That is so simple and yet so pure. Are they small aliens? Are they, they aliens are tiny? Small, not Let's more than a meter tall. Let's go beat them. And but don't them. forget the podules. Don't forget the podules. <laughs> Bring the energy modules. Bring the energy pod. Bring the energy podules. We mustn't forget the podules. Bring we the energy pod. We mustn't burn the desk with our cigarettes. Beat the aliens with the podule. All right, alien. Go get a fucking 
Well, here's what we're gonna do. Are you fucking not kidding me? Well, here's what we're gonna fucking do. We're gonna take these energy modules and fill them up on your planet. Or we're gonna fucking take them and bury them in your fucking skull. We might just bury them in your fucking skull anyway, for it is you that we can't get. I think we should beat this. I think we should fucking bust his Let's chair. Fucking bust his ass. Let's fucking bust his ass. Man, we better save some for the ship. Woo! Norris. Yes, Maxwell. Now that we have our energy pods, it seems clear and apparent that we may continue now to conquer in the directions and portions of the galaxy that have always been our desire. We have energy. We have a ship. I believe that there is a planet about five photox from our current position where there are lots of small aliens who need a good beating. But what do we gain from simple beatings? We must... From these aliens, we have gained glorious energy through these beatings. What else do we covet? I don't know exactly what it is that is gained, but... I always just fire burn inside when other people and alien planets succumb to our wishes. More is needed. More is needed and more we shall have in this time Publian blood. I say Publian blood and bones on the planet of Publius. Then Publius shall be. Tis an extra two photox from Katak. But we will achieve its destination. We will move in its way. We will we will stick it. Publius will bow, and what makes it better is Publius is the most democratic of places. They're weak. Weak and rich. We shall take their food, their art, their self-pride. We, we will be king. king. Look at those feeble Publians. Mm. Is that their best weapon? <laughs> Look at these Publian meek. Poor bastards. What a way to live. He's eating. Let us... Let us give them an ultimatum. And if they refuse... Well, they will fare as the Fuglacians did. The Fuglacians, the ones that refused to succumb to us. Oh, they succumbed. And they are all dead. What a shame. Shall we bring in their king? Patch us through to their alien camp. Publians! Publians! Please respond. Publians! This is Norris of the spaceship belonging to Norris and Maxwell. You must give us anything we desire, or you shall fare as the Fuckbasians did. You will be dead. I will now hand you over to Maxwell. Publians. This is the Publian King. Prepare to be boarded on your planet. We refuse to serve you. We live in a peaceful way. We do not accept autocracy. Publians, we will offer you one one only chance to become our 
subjects. We are taking your planet. Do you want to live or die? We would rather die than serve a madman and his mad henchmen. There is no need to be done. No more need be said, Norris. Down to the planet. Let's beat those Puglians. Let's beat some ass. Be the bearer of the news to your galactic friends that this little destruction is um, not the ending. No, my, my goodness, it's barely the beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Further terror, wreak, havoc across this galaxy is going to be rampant. First, must put the kibosh. This little friend's planet. <laughs> Norris, fire at will. Your planet is now a burning heap of fucking mantle. Alien, die in shame. <laughs> There must be something more we need. We've conquered several planets. I know one thing we can get. You know King Poncho? Planet Tyrone? I do remember Poncho and Planet Tyrone. You remember eating dinner at his palace? Yes, we had the fried cockroaches. Yes. Do you remember the gold? That he displayed with such pride that it's worth billions of cutters. Norris, I think I understand what you are driving to say. You would invite him up for dinner on the ship, and then rogue him for his plan. Let us communicate. This is the way. Let's call him. Yes, Norris. <laughs> King Puncho, this is Emerson Maxwell calling King Puncho, King Puncho of the planet of Tyrone. Please answer, Puncho. This is King Puncho, what can I do you for? Well? Pun Puncho, this is Emerson Maxwell and his companion Norris. We uh, were looking to have uh, thinking about dinner. Well, I had you guys for dinner a year ago. Well, Puncho, it's been several photocs since the last time we were in this general portion of galaxy and I believe that uh, well we're gonna be out of here soon you wanna have dinner or not you mean me come up to your ship for dinner or you come down here well we were thinking about having you on board our ship Pancho seeing as the last time what you have you got it and it does so admirably on what your have you planet. got for dinner Publians King Pancho we have Publians for dinner oh yes we have Publians we just don't have anything to serve them on Pancho remember that beautiful gold platter why don't you bring that up we'll serve you what plat gold platter? The, the the gold platter that you served the the last star. But don't know we had on the planet. Oh, 
you're talking about the most expensive and best platter on the planet? The most expensive one in the land? Yes, that's the golden platter. All right, I'll bring it up for dinner tonight around, oh, seven hours past the crater on my arm. Yes, yes. Good evening, King Puncho, and welcome to the ship. Hey, that's a nice suit. That's a really nice gold platter. We'll just be using that for dinner, right? Where are the Pooblians you promised? Here's your Pooblian, Puncho. <laughs> you bastards. <laughs> Goodbye, Poncho! Thank you once again for being part of our way this week on Space Dogs. Once I, again. Emerson Maxwell and my companion and compatriot. Notice and remember, don't, don't let your kids Be key. Key. Good boy.